What is up everybody? It's Moritz here from Section Store once again. Today we're going to be having a look at this Shop the Look section we just brought out. I'm quickly going to show you what it does. You can click on those little navigation bubbles right here and it's directly going to show the product which is related to it and you can even navigate through everything and it's going to highlight the specific product or clothing part in this example which is selected. I'm going to be using one of my own stores to highlight and show you how it's done. So you can simply pick one right here and we're going to fit it to let the whole brand fit in the whole vibe as well. So I'd say we just jump right into it. The app I'm using for it is called Section Store. It's a component library with over 100 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive. And you can download the app here for free. And after you've done so, you just head back to your Shopify admin area where you want to be looking for section store down here. Then you're going to click on explore sections. And I just had that one open already. It's the shop to look. It's a one-time charge of $9. That means if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. No hidden subscription fees or anything. And no code necessary. Also no developing costs. So I think it's a pretty good deal at the end. All right. Let's do one last thing before we can actually use it, which is going to be adding it to our theme. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme. I've done so already, so I can simply just open up the theme editor. And here I have the one you saw in the beginning of the video. To make it a bit more logical for you, I'm just going to get rid of that. Add a new section. It's called Shop the Look. That is that one and I'd say we just jump right into it. First thing I want to be doing is actually selecting the image you've seen in the beginning of the video. It is that one that's looking fine to me already. I want to link it to two products so I'm just gonna remove that block. Add that one. First one I want to be doing you always gotta play around a little bit here. Yeah I want that one right here. That's the heater surfboard model. Let's click it, select it. Sweet, that one is linked to that. And then I want to link the shirt as well. And that one is the OG Radiance t-shirt. But for that I have to do some tweaking. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. The vertical position has to get adjusted and the horizontal position as well. So it's going to be Right on there, I'm going to put it in the shade so it has a little bit of a better contrast. And I'm going to save it all up for now. And we could stop right here ready, but like I said, you're ready. The thing is fully customizable and right now I'm not completely happy with the font and everything. So I'm going to click on the block itself. And first thing we can change is the actual uh, headline. But for that one, I don't really want to be using one because I think the main... Focus of attraction should be on the photo, so we don't have to do adjustments here, but we can select the color of everything and the subtitle color, so we can type one of those in as well. Just going to show you real quick. You can see right here, that one's a bit smaller. And the arrows, we can decide as well how those are looking like, but I'm happy with those ones. The product card, the text color is changeable, so if you click that, that's for mobile, that's what the M is standing for. But if we put it here as well, you can see the whole thing has actually changed now. And that's the background, but the photo here has a background already, so we don't need that. Then if you hover over it, you get that more details thing right here. We're going to make that a bit darker. And the text should be white. I'm happy with that. And here I want a bit lighter looking version. So that is almost fine. I'm just going to save it up so you can see how it's looking like. And it should be done in no time. Sweet, that looks fine to me. And we have the hover effect as well. And that is pretty much it, I think. We can also do some general padding to the sides. So the whole thing is getting bigger. I'm just going to save it all up and then we're going to have a look at it in the live version. And then we can pretty much wrap it up, I would say. Scroll all the way down, and here we have our working section. It's a bit bigger than the one that you saw in the beginning of the video, but you can simply just add more padding or make the width of the whole thing smaller. 
But that was it. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like or a follow. Definitely helps us to keep up that motivation and build more sections like that. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.